Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler with my first of two videos from the Mainline Autographs show that was held at the Monroeville Convention Center. You can see the dates in the background, May 18th to May 20th. They had been at the Robert Morris University site for a little while and uh, this was their first time they were had transitioned back to the uh, Monroeville Convention Center. So these are my in-person autographs from the people they had signing. Down below there's a little stack of all the autograph tickets that I had. So I'm going to go in the order in which I obtained them. So we'll start with Friday. They had two free signers if you're the first 250 people to walk through the door. So I went ahead and got first up on my 1990 team ball. Bill Landrum there's three signatures. That would be the middle one, Bill Landrum. And the other free signer right below, Bob Patterson. This actually looks like an amazing panel because you have two athletes with the Bible verses and the uh, logo up above there. That actually just looks really freaking cool. So, nice couple additions to my 1990 pirate team ball that I've been doing and I didn't pay anything for it other than just the uh, show fee to get in. On to Saturday I had I believe about let's see nine different people. First off is Jose Canseco and I got the inscription the truth teller something original and he put on there I was Thrilled he did that. So the truth teller. Let me uh, see if I can adjust something here. All right. And then I picked up Andy Van Slyke was there. One of these little mini helmets. Actually came out really bold and nice there. He looked great. Andy Van Slyke looked absolutely amazing. Ripped. Chiseled. Rick Rodent was next. Got him on three, <clears throat> all three of my 1979 projects. Here's a 1979 scorebook. Rick Rodent. And both of my 1979 team balls that I've been working on here. This one's got a little more autographs than the others here. But, uh, Rick Rodin and my other 1979 team ball Rick Rodin. I will say though of all the signers I met Rick Rodin was the least interested in being there. He just talked to the uh, person taking the ticket stubs didn't even look at me until I Figured, you know, I'm going to stick my hand out there and make him shake my hand so he can at least look at me considering he just signed three items, that jerk. But everyone's got their own thing. Uh, the next guy I got was Raphael Belliard on my 1990 team ball, and he was super cool. That was, which was great because I was a little bit annoyed with Rick Roden. So there he is right there, Raphael Belliard. And Andy Van Slyke and Bill Madlock were giving him a little bit of a hard time. Andy Van Slyke's like... You could pick it, but you couldn't hit it. And I thought that's hilarious because Bill Madlock, you know, he was laughing because Bill Madlock could hit really well. And speaking of Bill Madlock, he was the next guy. Same three items as I did for Rick Road, and there's Bill Madlock on my 1979 program. And then I got Bill Madlock on my 1979 baseballs. Bill Madlock. And on my other 1979 baseball, Bill Madlock. All right, Scott Young from the first Pittsburgh Penguins Stanley Cup team. Got him on my Wheaties box. Once my front has like no space left, I'm done with this project. So I got him down below. Where there was a little bit of a little white, lighter, whiter space in the background. So uh, can add some down there and eventually get some maybe a couple better players up top. But then I'll be done with this. There's no sense in me trying to get a whole team. It's just a nice project piece. So Scott Young. Then my most anticipated was Kent Tacolvi of all people. 
Not just because he's a super nice guy, but I had a couple of cool plans here. This is an MLB Authenticated Game Ball from September 27, 2017, which was actually the last broadcast, game, last home game of the season. It did a nice little tribute to Kent Tocalvi between innings toward the end of the game. It was awesome. Kent Tocalvi with the last broadcast inscription. It was quite heartwarming. I really enjoyed it. When I got home, I couldn't wait to rewatch some of this on television as well. So that was a game ball from that game. Got him to sign it with that inscription. Then, Kent Tocalvi. Got a stat ball, a stat ball. Kent Tocolby, 1979 World Series champs. Up top. We are family. On the bottom. 1980 All-Star. All right, here we go. 1,050 games. And then my favorite. You may not even know this about Teak. Kent Tocolby. Pitched nine consecutive days. This stat ball came out absolutely amazing. So glad I did that. Told me a funny story about how there was some type of a recognition thing. And George Contos was reading through his records, accomplishments, and whatnot. And he got about halfway through and George Contos was saying, You know, I'm out of breath. Just t I'm tired, out of breath, just thinking about all these things that you had done. So that's pretty funny. Two more from Friday. Oh, no, Saturday, Saturday. Two more from Saturday. Free signer, R.J. Reynolds. If you're the first 250 each day, they'll give you a ticket. So R.J. Reynolds on the 1990 team ball. And then to finish it off, who was super nice, Mario Mendoza with the Mendoza line inscription. He has a nice autograph. That came out really nice. All right, on to Sunday. Three people to show you. There was going to be four, but Larry Brown of the Pittsburgh Steelers, four Super Bowl teams, couldn't make it. Something came up. So I was not able to get him added to my stadium seat. I did, however, get... Signed a little bit small and wide, but my plan is to get Joe Green... Right there, real big, but got Mel Blunt, Hall of Fame inscription. I was a little bit annoyed with his wife, girlfriend, daughter, cousin, whoever the lady was with her. As he was signing that, she said, did you get an inscription ticket? It's like, oh my gosh, Ugh, I hate how people do that. You know, they don't trust it. I was actually quite annoyed that she even asked that. But... It's okay. Free signer. Ken Maka. I know he does TTM, but I didn't want to put him on a ball or a mini helmet. My last signer. Two things. Bob Johnson of the 1971 Pirates. Got my 1971 World Series program. Bob Johnson. And on my 1971... Team ball, Bob Johnson, who was really nice, by the way. I said, could you fit the uh, signature between these two guys right here? He said, I ride a motorcycle. I can fit anything there. That's not a problem. almost thought about making a joke out of that, but that wouldn't be right. Bob Johnson was really cool. I thanked him, and he said, no, thank you. Without the fans, I wouldn't be where I was. So that was a heck of a good way to end it. Unfortunately, Larry Brown couldn't make it, but... Hey, I'm sure there's a reason. I'm not going to get critical about that. They gave me a refund on it, so that's fine. All right, folks. I want to thank you for watching my video. This was my first of two videos. My second video will be all my pickups. Mainline Autographs Show. Feel free to give my video a like, a comment, subscribe. Take care, everybody.